most people aren't using AI the right way and it's holding them back. I am a successful business owner who uses different AI tools every single day to automate everything. So if you want to level up and automate your life, these are the ways that I use AI and I am done gatekeeping. The first tool is one you already know, but probably aren't using the best way. It's ChatGPT. I am obsessed with this hack. Think of it like onboarding. You take your ChatGPT through onboarding with you. And right now you can do this through the settings feature inside ChatGPT. You just pop open the settings feature and you're able to customize how it responds to you. Do you want it to be inquisitive? Do you want it to push back on you? Do you want it to challenge your assumptions? Do you want it to be chatty and informative? Are there any specific requests that you have for ChatGPT, whatever it's communicating with you? What I know is I am very particular about how people communicate with me in real life. So so why wouldn't I make AI communicate with me in the exact way that I want human beings to communicate with me? I want it to be effective. I want it to be concise. So inside my customized settings for ChatGPT, I tell it to communicate things with me using girly analogies. It actually makes me chuckle when I am having it read back to me complicated terms and some sort of contract. And it will use an analogy like a bachelorette trip for some private equity deal that we're looking at. And why I chuckle is I actually understand what it's talking about. And it makes it real to me, not just that I'm learning new information, but that I can retain information and it makes sense to me contextually. So I happen to like girly things. Maybe you're not into girly things. Maybe you're into boy -y things. Whatever it is that you're into, put it in AI so that it communicates back to you in a way that you will understand concepts, not just defining words, but actually allowing it to give you reality on examples that it's talking about using the things that you care about. One of the ways I've used AI just in the last handful of days is taking an 88 page contract and going section by section saying TLDR, too long, didn't read, insert section, and it gives me back what the section is saying, it defines any key terms, and it gives me a girly analogy. I've been able to understand more in the last five days about these core contract terms than I have in the last 10 years of being in business, all because ChatGPT doesn't overwhelm me with information, allows me to really understand what I don't know, and communicates with me in a way that I want it to. When your AI gets you, you cut through the noise and get straight into action. Customizing and coaching ChatGPT is actually just like teaching a new team member. You have to teach them how to communicate in the way that you need it so that you can be effective. Speaking of onboarding new hires, one of the things that I'm a master at is onboarding. And I have created an onboarding template for the hundreds of team members that work inside my organization. If you want access to my free template, find me on Instagram at Natalie Dawson and type in onboarding in the DMs and I'll send it over your way. Next, we're taking ChatGPT a step further you can actually use it to learn and create curriculum. I am delusional enough to think that ChatGPT was created for me at this point in my life for me to learn everything I need to know about the most important things that are getting in my way of getting to the next level. What's unbelievable about ChatGPT is it can break down the most complex things into simple terms for you to actually understand whatever the topic is. Instead of just using ChatGPT to prompt you, I use ChatGPT to assess my knowledge in an area that I don't understand anything about and then give me specific steps creating a syllabus for how I learn more about those specific areas. One of my weaknesses is not fully understanding how certain contracts work and I rely on other people in order to explain this stuff to me. I'm not doing that any longer because Contracts really matter. And if you don't understand them, you are held back at certain levels in order to grow your business. So in order to break down contracts so I fully understand them, I asked ChatGPT to give me a full assessment of what I do and don't know about contracts. Once it assesses what I do or don't know, then I ask it for the next 12 weeks, give me an hour a day worth of reading or homework to do of books, of YouTube videos or podcasts that I need to listen to in order for me to better understand this topic. So I'm giving it a constraint. I have one hour a day to learn this stuff. Then I'm telling it where to look for me to get information. And then it can populate day by day what I need to listen to in order for me to get the information I need. Once it gives you that information that you need and you have a downloadable syllabus, so you can then dive in further to better crystallize your full understanding of that concept. Because as an adult, think about this. You want to understand important things, but the school system has taught us to get by, to pass, to just check a box off instead of true understanding. So I go through this weird process with ChatGPT where if I'm talking about contracts, 
I get so overwhelmed and frustrated because there's something I don't understand. But if I trust that I can understand anything, which I do believe, and you should believe too, I just get to the other end of that overwhelm and frustration by telling ChatGPT, I don't understand this. Make this more simple. Explain this to me in terms I can use. This still isn't making sense. Why doesn't this make sense? I'm frustrated. And unlike a professor or a teacher who you're trying to impress, you're actually just telling it what you don't know so it can allow you to get the information that you need to be effective. I recommend that you figure out one skill that you wanna learn that you've always been interested in and open up ChatGPT to create you a syllabus on how to get better at exactly that skill. Tell it what your goals are, how much time you want to spend to learn every single day, and any other important parameters. This next tool saves my life when it comes to emailing, and it's called Superhuman. Superhuman has completely changed how I email. First of all, it gamifies everything. If you thought that getting to inbox zero was a goal and a challenge, you would figure out ways to win that game. And that is the game that I am playing on Superhuman. The whole purpose of how they set up the system is for you to consistently get to inbox zero, not having the trail of emails that follow you week over week, month over month that you never quite get to. The whole point is to get to inbox zero and it creates creative ways to help you get to inbox zero such as organizing your inbox based off of who sends you what and what you traditionally respond to and find important. It will automatically sort and the way that it does this is brilliant. My favorite part of Superhuman is a newer feature where it will follow up with me on any email that I've sent out that I never got a response to. How many emails do you send where nobody ever says anything? And instead of you following up on it, you just forget because you assume somebody else is gonna manage their inbox but they never do. Superhuman now bumps emails in my inbox when somebody else hasn't done their job to respond to my email. You're gonna be able to follow up with prospects faster, team members faster, vendors faster, all because it uses AI to know what emails you sent and which ones haven't been responded to. And here's the deal. Spending less time on your emails means spending more time on things that actually move the needle inside your business. Your inbox can feel entirely overwhelming. And if you don't have tools that are helping you be more effective, it can be a major time suck and you can actually not get to where you're trying to go because you don't have effective processes. So a tool like Superhuman using AI to help you be more effective in this area of your life is a game changer and it will change your confidence in your own ability to manage your time. The last one is one of my personal favorites, ManyChat. ManyChat is the prime example of how to combine automation tools with AI. Automation oftentimes sounds rigid. And so if you don't use automation with AI, you can actually alienate your customers accidentally. Would I always prefer automation over a manual process? Of course, but with AI, you don't have to choose. We use ManyChat to convert somebody on a social media platform into a lead inside our business. So if you comment on one of my Instagram posts, it is very likely that you will get an automated response and that that response might lead you to a free downloadable for me to be able to give you resources that are helpful to you while in exchange for that, I get your contact information. And if you have problems that our services and solutions can solve, we will reach out to you because you've identified not only that you're interested in the solution, but that you're a good fit. So the automation is one piece and it's vital in a business to ensure that you are automating the processes that don't need to be done manually. But when it comes to AI, we can now use it to customize those responses so it doesn't feel like automation. That is the beauty of AI. It can take an inquiry, it can take a comment, it can take a DM and create a custom response based off of how we train it to respond. So ManyChat and ChatGPT have an integration that allows exactly this to happen. So it doesn't just have to be a set of parameters that you can only respond with these 15 responses. There is a myriad of responses that it can create based off of what it is learning and what it already knows about how I want to communicate. I work with countless business owners who are afraid of automation because they don't want the person touch of their business to go away. And when you are a smaller business, the personal touch is often why people stay around. There's lots of choices for big organizations that feel like they're at arm's length from you and people do business with people. So when you have a small business, they know that they're doing business with the founder and a handful of core team members. So you need to figure out how you can use these platforms to automate your processes, which will allow you to become a bigger business while not losing that personal touch. So automating your leads like this with ManyChat allows you to keep your funnel alive while you can focus your time and energy elsewhere on growth-related activities. 
For instance, when I first started my YouTube channel, I was responding to every comment. I would get notified on my phone whenever somebody would comment and I would personally comment. Today, I have more subscribers than I used to and I get lots more comments. And what's amazing about ManyChat is not only will it respond to comments, but it will also move somebody out of YouTube into having a direct conversation with our team about how we can help them. And while we were recording this video, somebody from YouTube decided to buy something from our business and we all got a notification about it. That is exciting. And that is what automation and AI can do inside your business. For instance, earlier in this video, I told you to go over to Instagram, find me and DM me onboarding for me to send you our onboarding plan. For those of you who are business owners and get a ridiculous amount of value from that onboarding plan, because it is very valuable, now we just own business and it's not just social media and me engaging with a blind audience, it's moving an audience into a real community and solving problems for that community. If you found this valuable and wanna start taking more steps to improve your life and your habits, check out my next video.